Hi guys, we welcome all of you. Today, our topic is how to optimize RRC success rate. If your KPI RRC is degrading or failure, so how you can optimize, how you can improve and what are those parameters or points to optimize your this KPI. So we will discuss all about RRC success rate in this video before starting this video. If you are new viewer on this channel, then subscribe this channel and don't forget to press bell icon. Okay, and there are many videos link are available in description. You can watch. Okay, so today our topic is LT KPIs optimization that is RRC success rate. What is RRC success rate? What is RRC attempt? What is RRC? success what is rrc failure causes and how to optimize these kpis okay so let's see here our topic is rrc radio resource control okay so first try to know what is rrc rrc attempt okay first try to know what is rrc attempt RRC attempt is paged when e node B receive RRC connection request means UE send RRC connection request RRC connection request to e node B. Okay, what happened? UE send RRC connection request to E node B. In reply, what will happen? E node B will send E node B will send in downlink. Okay, in downlink, what it will send RRC connection setup. Okay, to UE in downlink. Then E node B will wait for reply from the UE in uplink. What UE will send uh, means E node B is waiting for this message. UE will send in uplink RRC connection. complete messages okay rrc connection setup complete messages okay to e node b okay and after receiving this message our RRC connection success means what is RRC success after RRC attempt in order we send a RRC connection setup message to the UE and wait for RRC connection setup complete message okay once in order we receive RRC connection setup complete then RRC success counter is paste okay now where rrc failure happens okay and what are the causes of this if we talk about causes so causes of rrc failure uh, let's see there are many causes for rrc set of failure but uh, usually the most common is no reply no reply what is no reply okay and there is a counter in huawei that is uh, l dot l dot rrc set up mm, fail 
dot no reply you can check this counter okay for no reply cause of rrc failure okay this is our counter this counter is based when the e node b has sent rrc setup messages here you can see here e node b send in downlink rrc connection setup messages to ue but ue does not respond means this message ue does not respond rrc connection setup complete message to e node b okay so this is called no reply e node b cat from ue so what are the our points to optimize this failure okay let's see optimization points first first there is a timer that is wait rrc connection setup cmp timer okay this is a timer and this timer is for e node b to wait for the rrc setup complete message from the ue okay means here is e node b this suppose this is ue and uh, this is e node b okay here e node b wait for uh, rrc setup complete message from ue means this ue will send rrc connection setup complete message to e node b e node b wait for this message okay so if we increase suppose its value is 10 for example if we in, uh, and in 10 millisecond e node b didn't receive this message then what will happen rrc will fail if we increase this value then e node b will wait for more time okay maybe in that time rrc will success okay so we can increase its its value its value may help okay second counter is t300 t300 timer sorry this is a timer this timer is for ue to wait for rrc setup from e node b means now ue is waiting now ue is waiting to get message from e node b okay for which message rrc setup message if you didn't receive rrc setup message then what you will do you can increase this timer value it may help in probability that rrc setup is received by the ue okay third point is cell radius cell cell radius okay in cell radius what you will do suppose if there is a cell radius is large and cell a is ue can have timing error uh, which can result in false decoding of rrc setup complete messages now this can happen as demodulation of setup complete messages requires more robustness 
than our RRC connection request message. Okay, so there is a parameter which is uh, MRC LRC EDP T switch. This is the switch means if IRC here you can see if RRC fails due to PUCCH due to PU CCH then what you will do enable this switch here you can see this is a switch what you will do enable this switch and uh, if you enable this switch it will help mm, sorry Mm, this is the wrong our count mm, wait sorry this mrc lrc adp t switch if this algorithm increase this is the algorithm it increase the probability of demodulation and can increase the RRC success rate due to better decoding of RRC setup complete messages. There is another switch that is PUCCH, which we are talking PUCCH switch. Okay, this is a switch. If RRC fails due to PUCCH, if you are getting RRC fails due to PUCCH then you need to enable the switch okay it will help you to increase in PUCCH resource count based on requirement okay and our last point is that is tech planning okay our last point is Tag planning. If tag planning is wrong, it can increase. Maybe it can increase in RRC MO signaling failure. Okay, you need to check tag planning as per your network, and there must not be any mistake. Okay, tag planning must be correct. So these are the parameters, timers and counters and switches which will help you in increasing RRC setup success rate. Okay, so that's all. These are our topic and it's now complete. Now we will meet you in next video. So that's all. Thank you.